Hi everyone. Today it's Friday, so it is kids yoga time. I have a new locale for today. So we're outside. It's a little chilly, so I have my mittens in case I need them. But under this thing, so if it starts to rain, we should be good. So let us begin. Basically, what we learned from this is that we can do yoga anywhere. So if you want to go outside, you can be outside. Maybe not today. It's a little chilly. But finding a seat on our mat, grabbing your mat, grabbing anything you would like to have with you, blocks, whatever you would like to join on our practice today, and just find a comfortable seat on your mat. In today's card, we will start with, it's called Reflection Pond, okay? So when you're ready, sit nice and still, feel your tail sinking into the mat, the crown of your head reaching up for the sky, and begin to take deep breaths. Inhaling in through your nose, and back out through your Make a little noise with that breath as you begin to breathe. And while you're sitting mindfully with your spine straight and your body relaxed, imagine you are in a forest with tall trees. You hear the birds chirping in the trees and squirrels running across the fallen leaves on the ground. Just start to imagine that. Since I'm outside, you can probably hear some birds in the background. Imagine you're sitting in front of a small pond. The water is still. Look into the pond. See the reflection of the tree in the clear water. So looking into that clear water, right? It's almost like a mirror when you look at the water, when it's super still like that. Imagining that you are the tree, right? So look for that tree in the water, in your mind. What else do you see? Do you see yourself reflected in the water too? Imagine dropping a, pedal, a pebble into the water. What's gonna happen, right? It's gonna make ripples. So see those ripples. They start in the middle and they spread from the middle. Keep watching, and when the water becomes still again, open your eyes. Look for still water in the pond anytime you want to feel calm. Right, so it's a good little practice. If ever you're having a bad day or just want to relax a little bit. Good. So let's begin to connect our movement and our breath. So inhale our arms up overhead and exhale. Good, again, inhale, and exhale. Inhale those arms up, exhale out. Good, and one more time, inhale up, exhale out. Good, and then just bring your arms out to your sides and just airplane those arms just a little bit, right? Just move side to side. Maybe you move up and down a little like you're an airplane flowing through the wind, flying. Maybe you see that pond from our mind in our airplane. Good. And then roll those shoulders, rolling them back. And stop and roll them the other way. Good. And then wiggle those arms out. Good. And when you're ready, make your way to a tabletop position. So your knees are under your hips and your wrists are under your shoulders. Good. And we're going to do our cat-cow here. So on an inhale, you're going to drop your belly. Gaze goes up. And on your exhale, round your spine like an angry cat. Inhale. 
little angry cat. One more time. Inhale. And exhale to breath. Good, coming back to center. Reach that right foot behind you, nice and long, keeping those hips squared and that left arm forward. Good, keep reaching. And we're gonna bring our left elbow to our right knee together underneath our body. Bring them in, crunch up like a little snail, and stretch, and crunch up, and stretch. And hand and knee come back down. And just move side to side. Other arm, right arm forward, left foot back. That leg lifted nice and straight. Reach, reach, reach. And then our elbow's gonna meet our knee underneath. And stretch, and crunch, and stretch. Back to our tabletop. Very good. Now I want you to sit your hips back onto the feet and walk your hands forward. Walk, walk, walk. Let your head rest on the floor. Good, and then walk your hands to the right side of your mat. Come back to center and walk them to the left. Come back and slowly walk your hands towards your knees and come up standing on our knees. We're going to step our right foot forward and our left knee can push back a little bit, coming to that low lunge, keeping that left knee down. Hands are on that right thigh. Just sinking here. And then we're going to straighten that front knee. Those hands can come to the floor. You can keep them rested, maybe on your hips. It's up to you. Half split the other way. Good. And then we're going to come forward and back. Good. Again, forward and back. And walk that right leg back and wiggle it out. Other side, our left foot's going to step forward, coming to that low lunge. It might take a second to get into that position. That's okay. Take whatever time you need to make the right adjustments. Maybe you notice that I'm wearing two different socks. That's fine. My pink sock matches my little flamingo. Sinking our hips. Good, and then straightening that front leg, coming to our half split on our other side. And inhale, up, and back, and up, and back. Good, and coming back to my knees, shaking it all out. From here, we're gonna step our right foot forward. So we're sort of making like a little box with our legs and we are going to step onto that right foot with all of our weight and come to stand with our left leg up perfect we're going to reach that left leg forward and bring it back and then reach that left leg back and come back and put both feet down toes together sinking down into our chair pose Good, and our left arm reaches forward, our right arm reaches back for a chair twist. Check your knees, make sure they're not popping out on either side, they're staying nice and straight. And come back to center. And bring your arms down, reach behind you. And we're gonna pretend we're skiing down a mountain, we're skiing, skiing. We hit a jump and we come all the way up, maybe onto your tippy toes and down. One more time, ski, 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 jump, up to the toes. Nice, and then separate those feet, about hip width, and we're gonna forward fold. So have a bend in your knee, 
And we're gonna bend forward, bring your upper body down, letting our head and neck hang heavy here. Just let those arms hang. Maybe they move side to side. Maybe you wrap them behind your knees. Good. And hands come down, bend the knees. We make our way back to that tabletop. Sink our hips. Walk our hands forward. Child's pose. Nice job. Slowly roll up. And we'll do the same thing on the other side now. So this time we're going to step our left foot forward. Right? So we are going to put all that weight onto that left foot and lift our right foot up coming to stand. Good. And straighten that right leg. And come back. Your hands behind you. And maybe wobble a little. Come back. And chair pose. Good. This time, our twist goes to the other direction. Right arm forward and our left arm comes behind us. Twisting our upper body to the other direction. Checking our knees so that they are nice in the line. Good. Back to center. And folding forward, keeping those knees bent. And ski over the jump. Good big jump. And land our ski jump. Fast, fast, fast. Ski, ski, ski. And jump. Coming up to those toes. Settling down, feet come apart again, bending into those knees and forward folding. This time you can clasp your hands behind you and you can reach them up over your head. If you cannot do this, I'm gonna use my glove. Give me a little bit more space so your arms can come up. Good, stretching our shoulders. And releasing down and slowly rolling all the way up to stand. Nice job. Standing in that mountain pose. So our feet can be slightly apart. Our arms by our sides. Strong and active. Good. And just move a little bit side to side. Feel your feet, right? Feel all the parts of your feet. Right, as you move side to side, you feel the left sides of your feet and the right and the front and the back. Good. Now we're gonna root into that right foot and we're gonna lift the left foot and we're gonna place it somewhere along our leg. It can be a kickstand, it could be a shin, it could be at your thigh. And your hands can come to heart center. And now that tree we imagined. Good, now you can be that tree. Maybe sway a little. If I sway a little, I'm totally blaming it on the wind. Nice. And come down. Feet come together. Nice. Right now, we're going to step our left foot back, coming to our high lunge. Hands can be on our hips. Nice high lunge here. And straighten into that front knee and bend. And straighten and bend. Right? Imagine right now that you are a super fast animal. Maybe cheetah or jaguar. Right? And you're getting ready to run and you spring up and you run. And spring up. Good. One more time. Bend. Stay bent and open to our warrior two. That back foot is now parallel with the back in the front of your mat, right? And that front foot is facing forward. So our hips are slightly opened. Our arms can come out to a T. Super strong. Good looking at these front fingers that I'm wiggling. Yes. Flip that front palm and reach up and reverse your warrior. Reverse it. 
coming back to center. Nice. One more time, reverse this time. That left arm's gonna come across your body. Good. And back to warrior two. And straighten both legs and bring all your toes facing one direction. Bring your hands to your lower back. Inhale to open. Exhale to fold forward. Stopping halfway. Explore. Explore, what do you see? What do you hear? I hear some birds. And then folding down. Good, and we're gonna bend into our right foot and pop up our left toes. Good. Yes, and you can try to balance. You can bring your hands up. Balance here. Or you can keep your hands on the floor. And switch sides. Just walking the hands to the other side. Popping those right toes. And again, maybe you try to balance. Good. Hands come down. Come back to center. Hips come up. And slowly roll to stand. Good. Right toes point forward. Coming back to that warrior two. Reverse. Left arm up. Warrior two. Hands come to hips. High lunge. And step to the front. Nice job. Inhale those arms up and overhead. And exhale. And roll back to mountain. Perfect. Same thing. Other side. So first let's do our tree on the other side. So let's plant that left foot. We're going to lift our right foot. And again, you can kickstand, you can do a shin, you can come up to your thigh. Hands can start at heart center. And maybe your leaves grow. Throw your branches, wiggle your leaves, sway a little in the wind. Nice work. Hold here. Keep working on those balance. Good. And down. This time we're going to step our right foot back. Coming to that high lunge with our left leg forward and bent to 90 degrees. Hands are at our hips. Nice, right? This position is kind of like a runner getting ready to start a race. Right there, like ready there, ready to pounce, which made me think of an animal. Good. So then we're going to straighten and bounce. Straighten and bounce. Two more times, up, and down, last one, and down, good, and open to that warrior two, right toes are now parallel with the back in front of your mat, left toes pointing forward, arms come out long, good, sinking a little deeper here, you want to feel this in those legs, you want to be working super hard. It's not called warrior pose for nothing, right? Inhale to reverse. And come back. And again, reverse. And this time, right arm stretches forward. Warrior two. And all our toes. This time, bring your hands to your hips. Our toes are going to point out and our heels are going to point in. Okay? Kind of like a starfish, but we're going to bend into our knees, right, and come to our horse pose. So settle here, bending in, cactus those arms or make them goal posts. Good. And then turn, and come back, turn, back, nice. Ready? We're going to hinge forward, keeping our legs exactly the same. See if we can do this, keeping our back nice and flat like we're folding in half and then go back up and try it again fold and back up oh and straighten those legs nice job left toes point forward back to our warrior two flip and reverse right arm across warrior two and then back to that high lunge great work Step to the front. 
Inhale those arms up overhead. Exhale the heart center. Amazing. This time, inhale the arms up and clasp those hands together, releasing just the pointer fingers. Inhale, reach, 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 and hinge to the side, creating like a C or half moon with your body. Feeling the stretching on your side body. And back to center. And hinge to the other side. And back to center. Hands come to heart. Great. Let's take another balance here. I'm just gonna stick my hands in my pockets for a second. So we're going to root into that right foot again. And we're gonna lift that left knee up. And we're gonna bend that left knee so that we can cross the foot, our ankle, right above our knee. Okay, so we create like a little figure four. Yes. And then sink those hips down. Hands can stay at heart center, or they can be at your hips where mine are. Sinking down. Nice, try not to pull over. Maybe you have to come out for a second, and that's okay. Try it again. And come on. There we go. Wiggle it all out. This time, other side. So rooting into that left foot, we're gonna lift our right knee cross that right ankle right above that left knee and sink down nice you can hit your hands can be here your hands can be here they can be up over your head too whatever you want keeping the cross foot flexed good and again maybe you get distracted like I just did by the wind you can come out Come back in and stand. Shake it all up. Arms up and folding forward. Just check in. And again, slowly rise. This time, let's step our left foot back again. Coming to a high lunge. Good. We're going to move a little quicker this time. So, high lunge and open to that warrior two. Good. Bring, we're gonna bring that left arm around. Pretend we're pulling, we're shooting bow and arrow. So we gotta pull it back and let it go. Flip into the reverse. Coming back. So we're gonna reach forward. Now right arm's gonna come to that right thigh, and our left arm's gonna come forward. Up over our head for a side angle. Yes. And reverse, straightening that front knee. Coming back to stand. And same exact motion, except that front knee is now straight. We're going to come into triangle and hinging down. Reverse, bending that front knee and coming back. Straightening both toes. This time we're just going to point our left toes in the other direction. Coming to that warrior two, going the other way. Good. So from here... But we gotta pull our arrow. So bring your arm right down up. Pull that string back with your arrow and let it go. Reverse. Come forward, reach, reach, reach. Side angle, left arm, left thigh. Right arm up. Come back to stand, straightening our front knee. Reversing our triangle. Stand and reach, reach, reach. Hinging into our triangle. Nice job. And reverse. Coming back to stand. All our toes pointing forward. Nice. Maybe heel toe just a little bit closer. We're going to bring our arms up, making our starfish. We're going to take our left hand to our right foot. And our right hand is going to come to our lower back. And we're going to twist open. Your knees can be a little bent here. That's okay. And reaching back up. And we do the same thing on the other side. So now our right hand is going to come to our left foot, and our left hand comes to our lower back, twisting open. And back to stand. 
stand. Starfish, reach those arms up. And then bring them up to the sides. And we're gonna make little circles with our arms here. Little circles, make them a little bigger. And a little bigger, and a little bigger. See if you can fly away here. Woo! And stop. And reverse the direction. So start small. And slowly make them a little bigger. A little bigger. And big circles. Stop. Nice work. Put your hands on your hips and you can heel toe your feet together. Or you can just hop your feet together in the middle. We're gonna sink back into our chair. So we're gonna bring our big toes together, sink back into the chair, letting our hips fall back, right? Like we're sitting in a chair. Now we're gonna lift our right heel and lower it. Lift our left heel and lower it. Now we're gonna reach our arms up and lift the right heel and lower, left heel and lower and sink 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 and up to stand arms kicking by your sides nice job reach your arms above your head we're gonna forward fold and plant our palms and step back to a plank pose good and from here i just want you to bring your right knee down and then up left knee down up right down Left, a couple more times. Switch, 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 switch. And stop. And lower all the way down to your belly. Pushing into those feet, reach the upper body up. Coming to our cobra. So looking around, seeing what great things we can see. Nice, good. Coming back to that tabletop. And we're going to make our way into our down dog. So we're going to curl those toes. Hands will walk a little bit forward. We're going to reach our hips up and back. Coming to our down dog. Head and neck hanging heavy. And just walk those feet out. Nice. We're going to lift our right heel up towards the sky. And we're going to bend that right knee. And we're going to open that hip. But keeping those shoulders square. Good. Square again, and we're gonna take that right foot and step between our hands, coming to a low lunge. Yes, plant that left hand, right arm reaches up. Nice, beautiful twist. And come down, and step back to our down dog. Good work. This time, left foot rises, bend the left knee, open the hip. Square and step between the hands. Low runner's lunge. Planting our right hand, left arm reaches up. And down, and down dog. Perfect. Come back to that tabletop and sink back, your hips back onto those heels. Coming to a kneeling position. Nice job. Put those hands on those, on your thighs. Ooh, forgot my words. Hands on the thighs for a second and sit super tall. Do so you really want the crown? Pretend that someone's pulling a string. You're like a little puppet. Pulling your back so you're nice and straight. Good. Maybe come up. Stand on those knees. Pull, pull, pull. Super tall. And bring your hands to your lower back again. We're going to do a modified camel here. Okay, so our hands are going to come to our lower back with our fingers pointing down like we're putting our hands in the pockets of our jeans. Then we're going to push our hands into our hips so our hips move forward. Right? Like it's Thanksgiving, you eat too much turkey, you're pushing your belly out. Good, and then walk up to the ceiling and just push a little harder, push a little more. Good. And slowly come up and sink those hips down and rest here. 
You can move side to side if you want. Let me do that again. Come back to stand. Hands come to the back here. All right, so your hands sort of meet in the middle. All right, my pinkies are even touching. Inhale, nice long spine and push the hips forward. Push, push, push. And then maybe your gaze pulls up. Let those shoulders relax. Good, two more breaths. One more. And slowly come up, sinking back down. Good. I'm going to turn to face this way so you can see my arms. Arms are going to come out to a T. We're going to take our left arm, we're going to bring it under our right arm and cross them. And grab opposite shoulders. Good. Those elbows cross and you want to bring your arms up to double bind. You can do that. Right? Little eagle arms here. And reach them out. Now just switch. So if your left arm was under, this time your right arm goes under. Cross at the elbow, grab opposite shoulders, and then maybe those arms come up. Nice. I feel this in the top of my back and my shoulders. Okay. And reach out. Good. We're going to plant our right hand and reach our left arm up and over. Doing our little rainbow stretch here. It doesn't look like a rainbow. Right now it looks like kind of like a C. But when I rainbow my arms to the other side, right, that's where we get our rainbow. And rainbow my arms. One more time. Nice job. Coming back to that center. We're going to come back up to our knees. We're going to keep our left knee and leg exactly where it is. We're going to stretch our right leg out. Okay. So as you can see, I'm making like a triangle. The inside of my legs makes like a triangle. Our arms come out to the sides. And your arm comes down and comes up and over. The birds are very distracting outside. Reaching up. This is our gate pose. Coming back to center. And now we're going to take our left hand to the mat. I'll just move over a tiny bit. Our legs stay the same. Our left hand comes to the mat and our right arm reaches up and over the other way. It's also a side plank modification. And back to center. Perfect. And let's switch sides. Right leg is nice and straight. Left, yeah, right leg stays where it is. Left leg goes out. Arms reach and hinge down. Good. Gate pose on the other side. And switch. So that right arm comes down, left arm reaches up. You can move if you need to make any adjustments. Feel free to do that. Back up. Bring those feet in. And sink back down. What a great job. Sorry, just checking my time here. Arms come up and over. And exhale to heart center. And then just make your way into a seated position on your bone, bringing your feet together so that the soles of your feet are touching, right? This is our butterfly pose. I'm sure it has a different name than that, but I like that. It takes me a minute to adjust here. I like to move around a little bit, settle into my butterfly, right? And then you can hold onto those feet, keeping your spine nice and long. You don't want to hunch over your legs. You want to keep your spine nice and long. You can flap your wings. Nice. Good. And then hold those toes. And keeping your spine nice and long still, you want to hinge forward a little bit. So you don't have to go flat. Your body does not have to be over those legs, right? 
So just hinge until, you know, it's uncomfortable a little bit. Like I can feel that stretch right here. My body's like, I'm good, stay right here. And that's fine. So just find the spot where you can hinge to. And maybe move a little. Adding any movement, whenever you want. And come back up. Bring those feet in. Sit, crisscross applesauce. Can't think of a better. I think it's easy pose too, but I like crisscross applesauce. Bring your hands to your knees. We're gonna inhale to open our heart up. Our gaze gonna go up. And then our exhale gonna round. Like we have a ball. Trying to hide a ball in our belly. And then inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And back to stand. Left arm comes to that right knee and the right hand comes behind it. Just twist gently open. Good. And switch. Swinging those arms around. And switch. One more time, switch back. Great job. From here, we're gonna go into our boat pose before we make our way on to our back. So for our boat pose, you're gonna settle. You're gonna bend your knees and planting your feet on the floor. Your hands can come right under your knees. And then you're going to lift those feet up off the mat. Balance right here. Good. Maybe you let your hands go. And just relax here. Pull the belly in. Good. Maybe imagine you're both rocking a little bit. There's waves coming. You're rocking side to side. And come back down. Good job. From here, we are going to roll all the way down onto our back. Just like this. Bending the knees, planting the feet. Putting your arms right by your sides. We're going to push into our hands and our feet and lift our hips up. Coming to our bridge. Good. Maybe lift your left leg. Drop it. Lift the right. Push those hips up, up, up. And lower. And then hug those knees in. Give yourself a hug. And roll side to side. Nice. And we're going to keep our right leg in and lengthen the left. And then we're going to switch. So we're going to keep, hug that right leg. And we're going to switch and bring the left knee in. And the right leg goes down. Good. And switch. And switch. And switch. Two more times. Good. And do it super fast like you're riding a bike. Fast, 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 fast. And stop. Very good. Now, slowly lower all the way down onto your back. Good. Let relax. Let everything go here. Lying on your mat, close your eyes and take three soft, slow, mindful breaths. Feel them in your nose, in your lungs. And in your tummy. Imagine a flower in your heart. Its petals are wide open. It's a flower of peace. Cherry flower. Picture it. Picture what color it is. Maybe what kind of flower. How big, how small. It's wide open, beautiful petals. Imagine now gentle light streaming down from the sky into your flower. The sun is shining right on your flower, right in your heart. 
Watch the petals of your flower slowly close around the light. Like an oyster in a shell. Keep your focus on the flower. And take a few more breaths with the flower of peace in your heart. Good. When you're ready, begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Pull those knees into your chest and rock to one side, coming to our fetal embryo pose, which is like the fetal position. So you're laying on your side with your knees tucked in. And this pose helps us start over, right? So every day, is a new day. So whatever bad or sad or hard things happen today, we can let them go. And now we can start over with a whole new day tomorrow. Greatest thing ever. When you're ready, make your way back to a seated position. Bring your hands to your heart. overhead and exhale to heart center very good bring those thumbs to your third eye right which is your forehead and namaste and thank you all for coming today was a little bit shorter mostly because it's cold outside but i will see you either tuesday for a regular club class or next friday for the kids class have a nice day and a nice weekend and happy Mother's Day to anyone that that applies to. Have a great day.